Win Wing has a habit of knocking products out of the park. Today we're looking at the Win Wing Orion 2, the Orion 2 MF SSB version. Now this, this is a bit interesting and I'm not sure I'm fully on board with it, but let's just start off with the features. The Win Wing Orion 2 is a flight stick well suited to flight sims like DCS, which is where a stick like this really shines. And to be honest, this is where it's meant to be used. This version of the stick, and by that I mean the MF SSB version, relies on pressure, not movement. Now, I'll say that again, it's pressure, not movement. I have to be honest and say that I had no idea an F-16 was actually like this in real life. And it's kind of cool that Win Wing have gone out on a limb to create something like this, something that is authentic for the F-16. The F-16 simulated stick with pressure control is something completely new to me. So why is this important? Well, we all know that the F-16 is the best dogfighter, arguably. Having a stick that reacts to pressure and not throw allows you to make those micro adjustments and also, quite importantly, reach full deflection very, very quickly and it works and it translates into the sim. You can flip your jet on its side like that. Now, they measure the pressure in kilograms with the software and show six kilograms on each axis. I actually reduced the roll axis to about three kilograms and left the pitch at six, but more on the software later. You'll get a suction mounting plate for a desk setup and it can also be hard mounted like I have it here. In my opinion, this mounting plate setup is useless with this version of the stick. And again, this is the MF SSB version. It needs to be hard mounted. Just keep that in mind. So the software. Now, it runs on the SimApp Pro software and you'll need this to set the stick up and configure it. I spent most of my time in here adjusting the pressure levels kind of up and down on the pitch and the roll axis. There's a lot of back and forth, so just be prepared for that. And if there's ever a weak point with any of One Wing's um, products, it's, it is SimApp Pro. Although I do see it getting updated all the time and you know, every single time it's just getting a little bit better, but it does have a way to go. Now, the important part, and that is the build quality. Now, this is where it really shines. It's built like an absolute tank. It's got full metal design and it's heavy and cold to the touch. The only thing that comes close might be the Thrustmaster Warthog stick. This thing is so beautifully made and the finish is, I don't often say this, but perfection or close to it. The rubber boot around the bottom feels high quality and every single switch, button, hat switch, trigger, lever on this thing just, you know, it feels a million dollars. Every single button has that satisfying click at the end of the travel. When Wing Wing set out to make this stick, they really did try to make this the best stick in the market, regardless of the price. And they, they may just have done it. The finish on the metal casing is super high quality. The hex screws and the bolts holding it all together. I can't fault a single piece on this. It's just absolutely stunning. Design wise, it's pretty simple. It's an F-16 replica, and not just in looks, in function too. More or less, everything is there. I'm not sure if it's like one-to-one, -one, but it can't be far off. It's very close in design and size to the Warthog stick. Here they are side by side for comparison. All the buttons and levers feel just about the right size to me, and I have average to large hands. When flying F-16 and DCS with this, it feels, you know, it, kind of feels right. Apart from one thing which I'm just about to get to, but before I get to that, let's talk about the value. And I'll start by saying that you have to be the right type of simmer to buy one of these. It costs around 300 to 350 US dollars, and that's expensive in anyone's book. But I'll tell you what, the build quality suggests a far, far higher price than that. 
So value for money, it certainly is. The way it's all put together, the materials, you know, I don't often say this. In fact, I think this is a first, but it should be priced a little higher based on competitor products. So a few times I've alluded to the fact that something's not quite right and it's nothing to do with the product or Winwing. You know, they've they've done an excellent job. In fact, I'd say this is one of their best products. This is more of a personal issue that I seem to be facing and it's using pressure control on the jet. I, I just, I can't get used to it. Sometimes it feels super accurate for those tiny movements, but then sometimes I'm just having a brain fart and being far too aggressive. I feel like I'm wrapping my head around it and then other times banging my head against the wall. Now, for transparency, I'll say I've only put about eight to 10 hours full flight time in here. So it really does need to be a little bit more than that, but my gut just keeps telling me that I should be getting the standard version with the 17 degrees of deflection. If I had more time with this stick, maybe I could get used to it. If anyone on here has one of these and has crossed over that kind of barrier of getting used to it, please let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear how you got on. So the pros and cons. Now let's start with the pros first. Full metal design. It's extremely high quality, built like an absolute tank. You get that authentic F16 experience with the MS, sorry, the MF SSB. And it's it's great value, even at 300 to 350 US dollars. Can be used with any jet if you wish. The fact that this version of the stick doesn't have any throw, um, pitch or roll, it means that it's great for people with a little bit less space on the rig. When you are using it, and like I say, there's no throw on it. There is slight movement uh, on your pitch and your roll, like just a little, just a tiny, tiny amount. And I've kind of read on the forums and online that some people had been complaining about this. However, this is, you know, this is what an F-16, I'm, well, I'm led to believe this is what an F-16 is actually like. So no issues there. Let's talk about the cons or con, should I say, because there is only one. And that's that the software, the SimApp Pro software, still isn't quite up to scratch. Could be more user-friendly, but it's getting there. And I know One Wing are working hard on this based on the amount of software updates we get. So who's it for? I briefly mentioned to you that you have to be the right type of flight simmer to be dropping coin on this. If you're a DCS player that really appreciates that high quality finish and performance, then you can't go wrong here. This could arguably be the best stick you can get in the consumer sector. But remember, this is the MF SSB version. If you're looking for that authentic F-16 experience, then this is the stick for you. This is the one to get. The standard version works with cams and springs, but I don't want to say too much about it as I just haven't spent enough time with it. So should you buy it? And look, if you're an F-16 nut and that's what you mainly fly and you want the full experience, 100% this is your stick. You will not regret it. There's something quite cool about knowing you're replicating the stick feel like it is in real life, but if you fly various aircraft in DCS, I'd suggest looking at the standard version or something else like the Verpo or Thrustmaster Warthog. 